this is John for Outstanding Poker. Um, this is the first video I've done in a while. I've taken a break recently. Um, at my 40th birthday, so I decided to take uh, a few weeks off from playing and everything, just to clear the head. Everything uh, has been going really well on PKR, but then I think towards the end of uh, March, last couple of weeks of March were a bit, a bit of a nightmare, and then my birthday was the beginning of April, so I decided to, uh, to have a couple of weeks off, and... Uh, while I was off, about the only thing that I did is um, work on um, configuring Note Caddy so that it's working better. Because um, with Note Caddy before, if you've seen the the videos that I've done on Note Caddy before, I've showed you how to make these note definitions here. These note definitions, which all are all here. Your, note, your list of note definitions are here, and. Um, I created quite a lot of them at the beginning, and I always made sure there was less of a look. And I think uh, the the note definitions that I made a video of, I think I did one where you call uh, three bets on the button, where, and I was looking to get people's hand ranges with that, which is fair enough. Uh, and then I did a triple barrel one, which was kind of really elaborate with tons and tons of information on there. But I did that on purpose so that you could get an understanding of how... Uh, a lot of these variables work. But even so, once I'd uh, made all these badges and stuff like that, uh, I realised there was just too much information that uh, I was actually getting and not enough information that was kind of relevant a lot of the times. So I was having to like go scan these badges all the time just to try and find something that was uh, relevant. So it was just, it, was not, it wasn't good. So, I, And I, then I, I knew there was some kind of way where you could uh, get these badges to show up when they are relevant, i.e. when a player goes out of like an optimal type range, then you can get a colour definition, not a note definition, one of these colour definitions. These are a bit different. I'm going to show you how to make these colour definitions now, because they're a bit, bit they're a bit different to the note definitions and they're a lot more useful. Like I said, like I was just saying, when a player goes out of an optimal range, you can get a colour definition to flag this, and then this colour definition will only appear when somebody's getting out of line. And that's the only time when you really need uh, this information anyway. So before I made these note definitions, and I, I made a ton of badges, and uh, another thing that I didn't realise is that when you make a note definition and make a badge out of it here, and run it through the database, it takes up a ton and ton, an absolute ton of space in your database. So the best thing to do is actually, uh, when you make a new note definition, is give it a priority of zero, and don't put a badge on it yet. You can you, you can use this colour definition to put a badge on everything, and it's just tons quicker. And if any if you need to change anything, it's a whole lot quicker. As soon as you put a badge on these note definitions, it just seems to slow everything down. And then if you create quite a lot of de uh, note definitions with badges, then it can really affect the performance of note caddy just a ridiculous amount. So I've actually gone through all my note de definitions and take and taken the badge off and basically you just have to set it back to none and then run it through a database again. It took a long time but now my note caddy is running like 10 times quicker than what it was before. So I wish I'd have known what kind of problems uh, that kind of thing would bring up when I did it originally. So yeah, if, you, if you've got note caddy and you've created badges like what I said to do in the previous video, then I would uh, change it and then look to... Um, create note definitions and colour definitions in the way that I'm going to show you now, which is a much better way. The note definitions are great for making new notes to put on your hood and on pop-ups, and then you use your note definitions to be changed into colour definitions to flag uh, certain things that opponents do when they're getting out of line. That's kind of the best way to do it. I mean, before I had that, like, a triple barrel badge which just had way too much information there was like if you, once I got to like 3k hands or 5k hands on people it was just like a, a big like list of 12 instances where somebody triple barreled and it was just like had information on every street and on the hand ranges on every street and it was just like take me 15 minutes just to read all that and you just haven't got, haven't got that time so now I've, you can make it just a, a triple barrel colour definition using the holder manager 2 stats, I'll show you how to do that in a bit. And you can get that to show up once an opponent's triple barreling like over a certain amount of percent. 
you know, like if it's triple barreling way too, way too often, then you can get this badge to appear, then you can kind of look into how this guy's playing and look to, you know, raise some of his bets on the river to take advantage of the fact that he's um, triple barreling too loose. But anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to make a colour definition because you can make a ton of these colour definitions just using Holder Manager 2 stats and there's so many Holder Manager 2 stats there that you can't put them all on pop-ups, it's impossible to find everything. So with these colour definitions,